measurement, subtracting units, word problems. How do we subtract units in word problems? The thinking step is very important. Read the problem and think before you start solving. What do you have to find out? How are you going to do it? Do you have all the information you need? If you stop to think, word problems are actually quite easy. Let's try a few. A can of 15 liters of oil was purchased for a function. After the function, 8 liters, 300 milliliters of oil was left in the can. How much oil was used in the function? What do we have to find out? The oil used in the function. What do we know? The oil we had at the beginning and the oil left in the can. So, oil used in the function is equal to total oil purchased minus the oil left in the can. We know the total oil purchased. We know the oil left in the can. We now have to subtract. This is what we already know how to do. We write the units. Below that, we write the measures. Then we get ready to subtract. Look at the unit under milliliters. We can see that we have to borrow. We know that 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. So, we can borrow 1 liter and add it to the milliliters. Now, we can actually subtract. We subtract the milliliters, we subtract the liters and that is our answer. But, as this is a word problem, just that much is not enough. Oil used is equal to 15 liters minus 8 liters 300 milliliters is equal to 6 liters 700 milliliters. 6 liters 700 milliliters of oil was used in the function. On Sunday, Rupal walked 8 kilometers 300 meters and Gauri walked 5 kilometers 950 meters. Who walked more and by how much? What do we have to find out? Two things. Who walked more and by how much? The first part is easy. Looking at the distances, we know that Rupal walked more. We have to find out by how much. What do we know? So, how much Rupal walked more is equal to what Rupal walked minus what Gauri walked. We now have to subtract. This is what we already know how to do. We write the units. Below that, we write the measures. Then we get ready to subtract. Look at the unit under meters. We can see that we have to borrow. We know that 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. So, we can borrow 1 kilometer and add it to the meters. Now, we can actually subtract. We subtract the meters. We subtract the kilometers. And that is our answer. But, as this is a word problem, just that much is not enough. Rupal's extra walk is equal to 8 kilometers, 300 meters minus 5 kilometers, 950 meters is equal to 2 kilometers, 350 meters. So, Rupal walked more. She walked more by 2 kilometers, 350 meters. Rita needed 2 kgs, 
482 grams of flour to make cake. She had a packet of 5 kgs of flour. How much flour would be left over? Could Rita make one more cake later? What do we have to find out? Two things. How much flour would be left over after making the cake? And could Rita make one more cake with the leftover flour? We cannot find out if she could make a cake till we know how much flour is left. So, let's find that out first. What do we know? How much flour she had and how much flour is needed in one cake. So, flour left over is equal to total flour minus flour for the cake. We now have to subtract. This is what we already know how to do. We write the units. Below that, we write the measures. Then, we get ready to subtract. Look at the unit under grams. We can see that we have to borrow. We know that 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. So, we can borrow 1 kilogram and add it to the grams. Now, we can actually subtract. We subtract the grams and we subtract the kilograms. And that is our answer. But as this is a word problem, just that much is not enough. Flour left over is equal to 5 kgs minus 2 kgs 482 grams is equal to 2 kgs 518 grams. So, 2 kgs 518 grams of flour is left over. Rita could make one more cake too. So, we know how much flour is left. Is that enough to make one more cake? We need 2 kgs 482 grams. So, yes, Rita could make one more cake with the leftover flour later too. Did you understand how to do subtraction word problems with basic units of measurement? Yes? <laughs>